Hello beautiful people, welcome to round two of the Blooming Romance, which is new groundwork or which is should we say groundwork too from Donessa Myrix. I was so excited when I saw the launch of this palette. Um, in case you don't know, this is follow-up of this palette, which is Defining Neutrals, something I was really excited about because I'm already familiar with this palette. Also today, we're gonna dive in a little bit more into this palette. Um, I used pretty dramatic colors to achieve this look. Also, I did apply this palette for my eyebrows. I've done my eyebrows today three times. That's right, until I <laughs> managed to do something that I kind of... Uh, loved to match today's look. Anyways, um, my impression for this palette is that it's kind of more pigmented than this one, or it's just because of the undertones. I don't know, but the eyeshadows, they stand really nicely. They look really nicely. I love the opacity and I really, really do love the look that I created today. And if you want to see how I achieve this technique, this look, then please keep on watching. Here it is, you guys. Here is the palette and here are the swatches. Let me just get into the frame. Yeah, so as you can see, first row is pomade and powder and then the second one as well as they are in the pan. What do we think? I don't think we're having like too much of a similarity, even though it may look like, but the undertones are, um, they are different. That is for sure. Um, I'll just have to do tomorrow, I'll have to do comparison because these last two shades are kind of reminding me from the groundwork so I want to see the comparison and the difference between them. But overall, here it is. When it comes to eyebrows today, this is my third time trying to manage them um, the way I wanted. It's not perfectly, but it will work um, for today. It's a bit challenging since my natural eyebrows are so dark. Okay, anyways, these are the colors um, that I've mixed. So I'm talking about the pomades, color and desire. But also at the end, I did uh, get into the Evermore just because everything needed to be dark. So that was my combo to making strokes and also um, just to coat my eyebrows in that pomade color. Also what I've done, and when I'm in general using groundwork palette, um, whether I talk primarily about this one because this is my go-to, um, as I mentioned, Tourmaline and Sculpted, I always do use a little bit of a oil um, just to make the pomade even more, well, easier to glide because it's a bit weirder texture, so it makes my job really easy to do beautiful strokes. Anyways, let's start. I'm using P. Louise Base in shade 02. I am going to spread that base not only on my eyelid, but this is where I go out when it comes to the base because of the eyeshadows. And later if I need to um, clean anything here, it's not a problem, but it's better, like I always mention, to have base equally spreaded and blended than just apply your eyeshadow wherever it is on your bare skin. Even this lower lash line, out of portion for now. Before I forgot, I did apply a little bit of EXO pomade in my waterline. It was upper waterline, but as you can see, it already transferred. Um, again, like I mentioned, this is not um, waterproof. It's not like Inglot's MC liners or something like that, which is fine because I need the same color um, on my upper and bottom waterline. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, maybe a little bit weird, but I'm taking this pomade right here, which is the lightest. Julia wouldn't pick the pink shade for this. So I'm following the direction of my eye. I will um, create a line that will help me to direct my look. So I'm doing it like so. See how I'm following um, the shape of my lash line? That's the whole point, and I'm doing this. And I'm choosing this shade, if you are way, way darker in your skin, use the shade that is lighter then your skin, but um, something that's easier later to kind of a blend because we do need to remove that. Tapping my base once again with my Sigma brush. I already tried this look on my eye and I'm really enjoying um, the result. And what I can say right away, it's this one is really um, way more pigmented than the other groundwork. Um, yeah, let's start. Let's start with the Adorn pomade. I am going to outline my eye, but this time um, the thing is 
I'm now going first with the deepest, with the dark shade. I will blend darker color later. And also, I won't cross this line that I have here. I will take smaller blending brush and just work around the edges. And this will become a little bit lighter, sheer in opacity, which is fine. We're gonna go once again later as well. And repeating, do not cross this line right here. And I'm going to smudge this. And also because it's cream, it blends really beautifully and easy together. Um, with my base, taking bigger clean blending brush and just going to diffuse this. Repeating with the same shade, you can see how pigmented again it gets. Blending those harsh edges, I will lift this color towards my eyebrow as well. This is what you want to get. Also, what I'm going to do is to right away apply same color um, on my lower lash line. Again, following this line, I'm not going towards my inner corner, but just like a half of my eye. Also will blend that. And this is what you should, what you should get. Now let's use shade Evermore. And we will blend this one with the previous one. I know it's dark, but it will work. So that you have easier understanding when it comes to this. So this right here is our kind of a edge of the previous, like of the color that we have. And what we want to do now is to blend next color within this one. To do that and to leave this color peeking through, we have to narrow that color down. So if this is the edge, the last kind of uh, peeking through color from the next one has to be somewhere around here. So keep in mind that you have to blend this as well. So I'm not going to leave this color. So I'm not going to spread this color too much. Also, I'm gonna work one step at a time. See, I still need this peeking through. Applying this shade once again, just blend the edges. Also, I am using same shade and just applying it a little bit right here as well. I also want to lift this previous color as well a little bit towards here as well, like so. And this is how it looks like for now. And now we're gonna go towards the powders. Um, first, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm working with the powders right now. Let me take harder bullet brush and what you can see is its opacity. This definitely didn't happen with the previous groundwork palette. So I'm happy to see Potentially even improved formula, I think. I don't know. I th well, I think they are the same in a sense of the ingredients, but honestly, I'm not sure. It will, of course, um, shear down once I blend it. And I can get a little bit confusing, you know, going um, on top of the darker shade with the lighter and going back and forth, but using bullet brush for the lower lash line. But um, yeah. To test this today with this technique is how I do it. I'm gonna go in into the powder desire to bring some light. Not light, but the lighter shade. My personal color story is what I've created um, in my last video, but this is actually looking really good as well, if I may say so. I wanna work around the edges as well. I need to blend them into my skin and I am going into crush shade and that shade kind of unfortunately is um, because I'm working today with more mostly orangey undertones. Um, that one you guys is actually this clean. It's rosy and I wish we have like even lighter shade in here that is actually suitable for this, but it's not too bad, but still it will be better to work with that. Going in with a desired shade once again. I will bring that color right here with a little bit of crush on the edges with this brush just to blend everything. Going in with the Adorn shade. Now I wanna use a smaller pointy brush and go with this shade right here, Evermore. And this one goes right on the edges. I know I have a little patch right here, which is the way it grabbed when it comes to pomade. That didn't happen on this other eye. However, um, it's fine because of the deeper shade now that I'm going in with. With a smaller blending brush. And I'm also going in with the Evermore shade right on the edge. With a bit flat um, brush, I am using shade Crush in my inner 
corner. It's not the same undertone, but it is the only light shade that I have in here, you guys, so... Yeah, it's gonna work nice. And it took some time to blend um, these edges. I already did apply shade cross right here in my inner corner. Let me do a little bit more. Now I'm going in with a shade Desire and I will bring this color. I will try to bring it in the beginning, but in the lower part of this area right here and drag around just so that I have diffused color towards my skin later right here and the darkest one goes towards my lash line also I'm going in with the shade Adorn um, I'm using powders just so you know kind of just feeling the color where I feel like it needs to be brought so now with the shade Evermore just on the edge and this will really give the depth to my eye and a little bit of the shade XO but it goes just here it's like it's pretty similar but it's darker than this one and also I can just drag the color like here as if it is my liner I will apply some lashes and mascara and I will be right back when it comes to my lips what I've already done is that I did apply pomade bliss today and you know what I really do love this tone maybe I wanted to apply a little bit lighter shade as well and I did apply touch up of Natasha's concealer just inside to have like a lighter version of this now I do have my foundation on and today uh, I want to use groundwork defining neutrals just for my contour first a little bit I'm gonna go in with this desert pomade just a touch it's really beautiful and natural now when it comes to blush I used this one last time and I really did enjoy it but now I'm thinking you know I just use the same shade as my lips and that is pomade bliss pomade bliss will match with my lips yeah this is looking really nice I'm really loving these undertone you guys I really am I am in love with this palette and still like this is really pigmented like I mentioned I wanna go dive in a little bit deeper into the kind of a details behind this one what is going on um, with the opacity in this palette being kind of a stronger I would say but again certain shades certain other tones are differ different uh, require different formulations so I don't know I will apply the rest of my powders and I will be right back and so here's the final look I did not apply any um, blush powder I just went with the bliss pomade and also what i've done on top of it is my highlighter but i just realized i haven't used the fixing spray oh my god also my mascara on the bottom lashes anyways what i wanted to say is that um oh i did apply this radiance perfector from pixie uh, this is actually a liquid and it's rose tone so it goes perfectly um with today's look and I also didn't apply highlighter that is in a powder texture so that's all I'm going to use for today these are shadows I have been sitting here for like more than a half a day and so far I'm not seeing that much creasing just a little bit tiny bit right here maybe in my inner corner but um it's really important that you when you apply them that you do apply like large amount of the powder in sense to fix whatever there is especially if you are using pomade they are creamy and they will crease but if you're using pomades underneath make sure to set them really nicely with the powders that are actually matching which is great you have um, pomade and then matching powder anyways you guys um that will be it for today's look anyways you guys that will be it for today's look honestly kind of tired it's been a long day since i'm doing my makeup because i've been doing um at the same time some other stuff behind the scenes while filming and creating this look the, the next video will be comparison between these two which one should you get or if you have this groundwork should you get this one we'll discuss that that in my next video and um yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me today before you leave make sure to watch 
this video where I discuss my first impressions with the Blooming Romance and I'll see you real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.